Painting, a simple activity for most, but for one kindergartner, that wasn't the case. Meet Sam. He has a rare neurological condition that affects how he controls his muscles. So his teachers at J.E. Harrison Education Center went to work to find a new way for Sam to express himself with something called a switch toy. Joining me now live over Zoom is teacher and toy inventor Carly Lutz, occupational therapist Rachel Theros, and Sam's mom, Stephanie Langle. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Stephanie, I want to start with you because I hear there's a new little artist in town, but I want you to first <laughs> explain your son's neurologic condition. Um, Sam has a condition called acute flaccid myelitis or AFM. He was diagnosed in late September 2018, um, seemingly had a virus with a mild fever. And then the next thing we knew, he couldn't move anything. Um, so over the last almost three years now, we've um, gone through a lot of intense physical therapy um, and mm -hmm. occupational therapies to regain what he does have. Um, and it is rare. He is one of 654 ever since they wow. started tracking AFM in 2014. He was one of 238 in 2018 and only 11 in the state of Pennsylvania. Rachel, when did you get the idea to use Sam's head to find a way to express himself? So we needed to find ways for Sam to participate with students in his classroom. And Sam came to school with a wheelchair that he operated with his head array. And I saw that he was very successful using his head array to control his wheelchair in all directions. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we knew that we needed to find a way for him to use his head and take advantage of his strengths to participate in the fine motor activities that he, the class, that the students in his classroom do every day. Mm -hmm. That's how the idea for the head pointer was born. <laughs> so Carly, you get this very challenging task to make an electrical switch toy. How challenging was it? It was, it was very challenging. I've had like a slight, slight background in it, meaning I went mm -hmm. to a few camps, but I've never <laughs> created something out of it. But I'm never one to back down from a challenge. So I was definitely up for it and I took it home one day and I ended up hours later finishing it and I was running around the house. I was like, mom, dad, look, I, I did it. I did it. And then just seeing Sam use it was, it just, it's speechless. You know, it's, it's something really, really special. What different things can Sam now do with it? Well, the first thing we did was the scissors. So he was able to activate the switch with his hand and then he was able to use the scissors with assistance from um, a teacher. Wow. But then with the paint spinner, it's all independent. He was able to activate it with his hand and then he's able to use his head to actually put the paint on. So I think that's the most important thing. And the paint spinner is all by himself and that's mm -hmm. just amazing. Mom, what is it like for you to be able to watch Sam do this? Um, I just love to see him have options. I mean, he is regaining functions very slowly, but mm -hmm. to see him have multiple avenues to just do what everybody else is doing is, is pretty incredible. Do you guys have any idea what's next for the toy? We do. <laughs> we have Can some ideas. <laughs> We are looking for recess options. We're thinking we need a bubble machine for recess. <laughs> And that might be our next switch adapted invention. <laughs> I, I just think it's so fascinating. You three ladies with not really much background found a way to just make this happen. Have you heard from any other parents that want to also get one? Not I, yet, but they will now. <laughs> I, I've heard a lot of support from men, just, just the ability to do it. it it's, it's awesome. It's an awesome thing that a lot of people should take advantage of. Thank you for doing this for Sam and thank you for sharing the story. Thank you. Thanks for having us.